Hello, everybody. It is Tuesday evening. Tonight's going to be a short one. I, I have to leave here in like 10 minutes. My daughter number three, and I have to think about that for a second, is in a middle school play, uh, and it goes live this coming weekend. So she's got rehearsal in about a half an hour. Um, so it, it's been cr pretty, pretty hectic and around our house. Um, my wife's involved in the play as well. Um, involved in selling tickets online, that sort of thing. So, yeah, um, I know Alan's chomping at the bit to to look at some stocks. Um, things on my end have been okay. Um, I and actually, I haven't really checked. I I put that release for the Android version out there, um, and actually, I added. Um, IPOs since last December, I think. Um, but if there's a stock that you're you're trying to track and you, you can't get it on the app, let me know. Um, it's easy enough to add it. Um, I basically just have a text file of all the tickers and the ticker names um, that I'd add to this to the uh, app. So Apple is still being Apple, um, still in review um, since April 7th, actually April 8th. So it's been six business days. Um, I don't know if I'm not saying my blessings or if you guys aren't saying your blessings. Um, I, I, I'm taking this as good news because um, in the past they've rejected the app within a day or two. Um, I ha had to give them a sign on user ID. Um, maybe they're just using it for themselves and just don't want to release it to the, to the general public, but stay tuned for that. I talked yesterday about Elon Musk and Twitter. Um, interesting thing going on with that. I, I'm, I don't want to get into it. Um, I, I just, I'm non-confrontational. Um, I don't believe the board is doing this. The latest news is that uh, Florida, because it's in their pension, is looking to, I believe the SEC, to see if the board is doing something that's not in the best interest of their shareholders. And like I said, I, I don't want to get into it. I tend to believe the best of everybody. Um, but it's a it's a it's a soap opera, to tell you the truth. Um, Elon Musk is putting up, I think it's now 15 billion of his own money. Um, so we'll see where that goes. Anything else I want to talk about? Actually, speaking of Elon Musk, Tesla reports tomorrow after the bell. Uh, Netflix reported today after the bell, and they are getting they are getting a haircut to say the least. And I was going to check and see where they're at. Um, Minus ninety one dollars, two fifty. So they're under two sixty. I know they were floating around two sixty for a while. So that's tw almost twenty six percent that they're down. I don't know, Alan. You think that's they're, they, so they talk about losing subscribers, and that's not a big surprise considering all the different um, companies that have gone into streaming. Um, they're bound to lose people uh, or lose subscribers. So I don't know, Alan. You think twenty six percent is overblown? It, well, the first of all, it's got no new series that are out. Um, during the pandemic, everybody's watched every movie there is. There ain't any more movies going. Uh, so the problem is, is that that's the biggest problem you have. Why don't you bring up Netflix uh, and you'll and let's look at the chart and then that'll tell us a little bit more what's going on. Okay, let's see here. Oh. We could stop at Google for a second. Let's just just take Google for a minute. Okay, so when you're on the five minute rule, what how you're supposed to go ahead and play it is that the five minute rule, um, the uh, at nine forty five on the app, it went ahead and went. So you go nine thirty, 
935, 940, 945 is the third bar there. So the thing is, is that you would have went ahead and gone long there on the app. Um, and so that you would have went ahead and made a uh, $50 move on that stock. So what I like to do is that I'm actually would be buying about the 2590 or the 2600 calls. Now, what it is, is that again, you set the app triggered at 945. You buy at 945 with your trigger, with your finger on it, making sure that you don't get a reversal and go back in the zone, which is the first five minute bar. And then you would have gone long. It was a $50 move. So when people say, well, I didn't make any money, I'm like, how? <laughs> you know, it, it was a 200% gain today, at least 100%, depending on where you, you jumped in. So yeah. the thing is, is that um, you say, well, it's kind of expensive. Well, you know, you still have quite a few days left. That's why it's expensive. But right. the issue yeah. is, is that um, you had a 500 point gain on the markets. You had uh, Google went ahead and uh, you saw the gains. And so the thing is, you saw the up cycle. So Google was on my uh, track this morning. I gave you what was on my list. So the thing is, is that... Um, you know, uh, it, it was pretty much uh, a no brain trade, but let's go to Netflix. I, I just want to show you something. Yeah, and let me, Netflix. and you want to look at. Well, I'm going to show you just, for, okay, let, let's go the easy way. Okay, don't even do the advanced chart. Take the advanced chart out of this. I want to show you something. You have to get fidelity. I'm telling you right now, you cannot win this game if you don't have fidelity. Go ahead and just hit the three month button. That's all you do, just hit three months. That's gonna go ahead and tell you something right there. Do you see what the problem is? So the Netflix was below your 20 day SMA, okay? So the chances of it going above the SMA when it's already below it are almost none. It's almost zero. Uh, and I'm, I'm so like upset that um, I got caught up in a meeting and I didn't go ahead and see, someone asked me what I thought of Netflix. I would have told them it's gonna drop $100. And why do I base that on? I base it on, look at your SMA. It's on the down cycle. Generally speaking, how it works is that if your SMA is below the 20 day SMA, going into earnings, it will go ahead and go down. It's like a 90% roll. Now, the thing is, if it was above the SMA, it would have gone up. Now, the thing is, is that go ahead and bring up a one year, you'll see where it dropped to. There's no surprise it dropped uh, what it did. Keep going uh, to the uh, three year. There we go. That's what I was looking for. See, I was looking for that bottom drop. You see that? Uh, go all the way to the bottom. That's where it should have gone to. So um, in after hours, it dropped $91.06. So yes. you, go, you take 348, 61 minus 9106. Two fifty-seven fifty-five. See that two sixty-four? I see two fifty-seven oh one. There it is, right there. Yeah, there's that low. <laughs> Do you see this? This is like it's 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 like you know you're like well why did it go down to two fifty-seven? There you go, right there. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. And look yeah. at that SMA. Look at the SMA. People have been bailing on it for a long time. They knew what was going on. They they've been They've been selling these shares nonstop, and the only one holding it is the people that didn't weren't watching what was going on. Hmm. So, right, exactly. Yeah. So I hope those helped. This is how I do things. This is what I base it on. This is what uh, you know where I base this this at. Because the thing is, is that again, you want to go with the percentages. 
90% rule, it's going to drop because it's below the SMA. Where is it going to drop to? If you can't find it, go down a little bit further, the three year, right there, 257. And where is it at right now? 257. Now, I will tell you, you're probably going to go ahead and get a bounce tomorrow. It'll probably go up $20 after it, it opens up. But what the hell? It's down 26%. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, it's quite the uh, quite the beating there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, the thing is, is that um, uh, it, it's not a beating. It's called manipulation. <laughs> it's manipulation. I guarantee if we go to the, uh, we'll go ahead and bring up the options on that. I'll tell you right now, you're going to go ahead and already see the 257. I mean, uh, just, just, just go, uh, uh, yeah, go into your um, all. Let's do this. This, this isn't magic. Uh, this is, the thing is, is that go to your 257. There it is right there. Yeah. So now, I mean, if you how look, I read this chart is that the 260 is where, um, uh, you know, basically they, they had it going to. And then the thing is, is that um, uh, that is what I basically call the, the hammer. Uh, now, what it is, is that you have to have three players at the bottom where it's going to. It should go down to 250 tomorrow because those guys want to get paid because it see that right there yeah um and so what it is is in this case your hammer is really 265 262 50 and 260 so those are like you know if you combine all those that's like 5000 right there so and then the thing is is your money is way down at 300 look at that strong buy at 300 yeah so you always it will always tell you where it's going to go um, so you'd say, well, how'd you know it's going to go down to 257? Well, the thing is, is that I don't know, uh, the, the minute, the manipulators knew, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they knew and boy, what a beautiful trade that is. Um, but I don't know, it's going to try to battle back tomorrow. Cause that's, that's an, it, it's bouncing off of 257. So there'll be a battle uh, going on tomorrow. Uh, it'll just depend if the short sellers can drag it down more. But the 300, um, what a what a beautiful trade that is. $400. I mean, oh my God. Yeah. This guy's going to make four grand. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, great, Brian. I got to take off. I hope you, uh, you learn something. Uh, I try to go ahead and, and educate where I can what I see, what directions I see, what where, where things are going. So hopefully it helped out, hopefully it, it, it worked. And uh, God willing, we'll have the Apple uh, app going next week. Yeah, knock on wood again. So thank you all. Um, sorry, I gotta cut this short, um, family calls. Um, but I hope you guys have a great week. Look for Tesla earnings tomorrow after the bell. I think Alcoa, AA is reports as well. Um, and interesting to see what Netflix does in the morning. So have a good night and a good rest of the week, everyone. All right, we'll see you, Brian.